Hey, so today we're using collage and cutouts, paper cutouts out of squares and other shapes that you find in the scrap bin. You can assemble some pieces so we can make some different flowers. We've got a tulip and a, you know, simplified rose a type of spiral shape that can make a fun flower. Uh, you can cut out some stems from green paper and you can even cut out more of this shape to kind of have that stand out a little bit. If you have some fancy paper, you can do that on here too, and that's a fun way to have some flowers. You can layer your flowers, and uh, that's a fun way to add some things as well. And um, you can take a square, and you can start to trim the edges, as you see on these edges here and you're trimming them around in a circular fashion and then you can cut away some of those triangles so that way you're uh, just cutting into there and you're able to cut out these little triangles and create these uh, petals around the way of this flower. So cutting out these triangles. There's just one way to do some of this fun stuff for these petals and flowers. could add a circle to the middle. If you'd like to, you could bend this and make that like a folded flower that sits on top of a stem. You can glue it down, you can glue something in. You could even fold it again like that to make it like a pop-up flower. Okay, or you can keep it flat and then you can glue in a circular shape and put it together like that. So now we've got two different flowers. And I wanna get a stem. So I can just cut a thin strip. And Builds my collection. And for something like the spiraled piece, you could start with a square and you can just start to, just from close to the edge, you're going to start to kind of cut around in a circle and I'm turning the paper as I'm cutting. And I'm gonna keep turning it, I'm creating a spiral. It's like I was gonna cut a circle, but instead I'm gonna keep going inside of the circle. Keep going inside of the circle. And going slow, I'm not rushing this. Going slow and I created that spiral. Now what I could do, I could leave it square if I like it like that, or I can trim some ed edges away. You can actually cut into your paper and cut little triangles around your edges if you'd like, similar to this shape here. Um, you can round your edges if you'd like. Whoop. Let's get back in the camera. <laughs> and then I can do a similar trim over here. I'm cutting these little edges. You can do it all the way around or just on the corners. You 
gives it a little texture but you don't want to cut that spiral off so just be careful with that Whoop. I did rip it off so I can always glue this down onto a background I can glue it back together or I could decide that I just want that part and then I could I'm gonna cut that part off and then I could just kind of adjust the shape a little bit and I'm also gonna just cut so I'm gonna go back inside where I was cutting this shape and I'm gonna just cut a very thin line away so that way I could see the shape a little bit better So even though my shape ripped and broke off, I don't mind. I'm going to go with it and I'm going to work on fixing my mistake and, uh, you know, making something like making a mistake into something beautiful. So adjusting and there is that. So I think that's kind of fun and I could still glue this back on together if I like that and if I want to keep that on there. I kind of like that together actually and then I could just trim this part off. So something like that. These are fun abstract flowers so here's a variety that you can glue onto a background once you get your paper cutouts. All right. Hope you had fun. Enjoy.